Welcome to the Ultimate Girls Trip Down Memory Lane panel. And please give a warm welcome to our moderator, actor and ginormous Bravo fan, Michael Rappaport. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, you guys need to give yourself the biggest round of applause for enjoying coming out for a fantastic BravoCon 2023. Give it up for yourselves right now. And listen, it's a great day. It's a great day to be in Vegas. This is the ultimate girls trip down memory lane panel discussion conversation. Let's bring out these iconic Bravo queens. Let's bring about Kelly Benzimo. Sonia Morgan. The great Sonia Morgan. Luann De La Saps. Dorinda Medley. Did you, did you fall? And Kristen Takeman. Give it up for the women of Ultimate Girls Trip Down Memory Lane. And there are so many memories, so many great times we're going to discuss. You guys look fantastic. Thank you, Michael. So I am so are. happy. I don't know. I, I think these people are excited, but nobody is more excited for me uh, than me to be this close to you. Well, we're Bravo. excited as well that you, we couldn't have a better commentator. Well, I am happy to be. Let's get to it. There's so much to discuss. Everybody, I'll start with you, Dorinda. Man, there's a lot, a lot. What, what would you say is your most iconic moment in Bravo history? I mean, uh, you, you, you're, oh you're, my your gosh, last girl's trip was one. incredible good, but what would you say oh, is your yes. most iconic moment? Uh, Ultimate Girls Trip 2 at Bluestone Manor was amazing. I mean, it was incredible. I, I think Bluestone Manor and Len were almost the main characters. And um, probably in history, I think my... Clip? Favorite, Would we say my, clip? Yes, clip. My, favorite, my favorite lunch, the, the big lunch in the Bronx, where I did clip, 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 you so, fool. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Some I was people hiding. might say... So, yeah. Would you, so you're saying clip over, I made it nice? You're I, saying that? I, I am, but you know, I think Sonia no, knows that I made it nice, right, Sonia? Are you listening, Sonia? Sonia, <laughs> we're in front of a live audience. Am Sonia. I awake? Is Sonia even listening? What so, did you say about me? <laughs> I know, I she yet, said my vagina yet. is the Holland Tunnel. Long time ago. We moved on from that. We all know we, that. We moved on from that. Clip, we all know clip, that. Clip, 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 clip Sonia. Um, Kristen, what would you say is your uh, most iconic moment, your favorite moment that you've been a part of or that you instigated? Ooh, that I instigated? I don't know. What, is what about the glass think? of wine in your face? Yeah, I got definitely had a little accident while I was treading water, that's for sure, um, with a canoe involved. I mean, that's what everybody always talks about. Okay. Lovely but glass in the few? face. Okay. You have a few on this trip. Oh, on this trip, but we haven't seen it yet, yes. Um, um Countess? You've had many, 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 many moments also. Can you pick one or the one that the fans remind you about the most? Um, oh my God. Well, between be cool, don't be like all uncool. Wow. And uh, even Louis Vuitton makes mistakes. Yes! That's and my life favorite. is a cabaret! Wow. <laughs> Sonia Morgan? And so Sonia Morgan, New York, is an actual... Look, you know, when I'm walking around the Upper East Side of New York, I don't say I'm walking... I say I'm walking around Sonia Morgan, New York. That's just a little sidebar. But Sonia, can you even pick one of your, your, your favorite moments or the moment uh, that fans remind you of the most? I think when I had my first fashion show and I saw the faces of my girlfriends because they play it back, everyone was so happy for me, all the Real Housewives of New York, and that was a big moment for me, I would say having an actual brand. But I would say I'm also seeing Double Feeling Single tonight, because <laughs> the hard part's over. And we always have a great time. Yes. And we got the yacht. We got the yacht. <laughs> Habibi. What, yeah, about, Habibi. what are you doing here without Dorinda? I love what are you doing here without Dorinda? I love that. That's my and favorite. don't That's touch the f***ing Morgan letters. 
Wow. And then Luann said, put the dog down. May Coco rest in peace. Kelly, Kelly, yes, uh, how does it feel to be back with the ladies? How does it feel to be back on Bravo? How was your girl's trip experience? Uh, 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 just how, how do you feel to be here? First of all, I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting me through my entire journey. Um, Luann de Lesseps is my absolute everything. And oh. I wouldn't be back here today if it wasn't for her. And um, I just miss you guys so much. And I have so much to share with you. It's been super cathartic. I got engaged. Wow. Let me see that ring. Wow. wow. Was that that handsome gentleman I saw you with yeah. at the baggage claim when we uh, hit the airport? I only do handsome. Oh, that's He's right. really All right. nice. Yeah, super nice guy. No, you don't seem nice, because people when they're nice, they're like, he's not hot. hot. I was trying to be, hot. I was trying to be PC. He's I hot. lost nine inches having sex with him. Woo! Excuse me? Woo! <laughs> nine inches? Nine inches? Now you're talking nine inches. Now you're talking my got language. It, got it, got it, got it. It's, it's not even noon. Um, <laughs> all right, I got to ask all you guys this. Uh, uh, who would you each <laughs> nominate from this group as being the MVP of fun? during your ultimate girls trip. I'll start with you. Well, I think on this trip, and don't girls be offended, I think Luann and I were the MVP of fun on this trip. We were. We really did. I did dry we, hump we you, actually, I don't understand. <laughs> we actually. Because Luann likes to do anything. I'm like, do you wanna? And she's like, I'd love to. She's yeah, let's really go, fun. let's go. I'm always ready for action. That's and an upstate New York thing. Well, you think? <laughs> yeah. But I'm I from Connecticut. Sonia. But <laughs> who, who would you say? I, I vote Sonia. All right. I vote Sonia. We always have a I great love Sonia, I love the land, but Sonia is like amazing on this trip. All right, well, that, that's a, it's, a, it's a tie. There's, we got a couple of MVPs, and you know what? Who knows until the people see it, and we have a special first look at the Woo! new season right now. Oh, my God. I, I haven't even seen Yay. it. Yay. I know, we haven't we seen haven't it. Take a look. We haven't seen it yet. Uh, we haven't seen it yet. No, we haven't seen it. Cheers, baby. It's the same part. The OG bitches are back. No, are I'm wondering if there's gonna be some cute guys there. Oh, there's always so, somebody to f We need a new pirate. All right, St. Bart's, hello. We made it. We made it. Hi, I just got here, fresh from New York. We're going back to the same villa. Is it bringing back memories? We're all starving, and we don't want to eat without you. It's 4 o'clock. Didn't you miss her? <laughs> you have a boyfriend, you have no boyfriend? I have whatever I want. I'm very pleased. Can you tell us who it is? I'm so normal and even tempered. Kelly, it's like dealing with one of those Ruba cubes. I am an action verb. You're an action verb? Okay. You've been asking me all day long. Get a match and then the house is on fire. Names will never hurt me. There's six women here, and you're all divorced. Kristen's husband was cheating. He admitted to being a member of the affairs website. Is it a flirting thing? Or... I know my truth. Eagles don't fly with pigeons, okay? <laughs> so go get your breadcrumbs and get back to me tomorrow. I'm trying with you. I'm so trying. I know, but you're not the Keep right person right down. now. Kristen, I need nurturing from Dorinda. Is that a turtle? Look at it. Turtle time. Turtle time. Found out that Sonia has a pretty kitty. It's certainly not the first hot dog I've seen on this trip, but it's the first one I'm gonna get on ride. Oh, I'm on it. I don't know what an Eddie Monster shoe looks like. <gasps> oh, the pirate has tried to call me okay, nine thousand times. You I am your pirate. That's the pirate. Are you funny as I am? Go on a spiritual retreat after uh, this. First, maybe I will go to a um, mental house. Uh, mental hospital? Yes. Kudos to that. We can say kudos to that. I missed that one. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Oh, oh, I love a powerful shower head. <laughs> Ooh, still going. Oh. Uh -oh. Wow. <laughs> Are you guys excited for the ultimate girls yes. trip? I am. Me too. I'm excited. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, Kelly, what, what, what makes an action verb and which are the ladies are, are furthest from being an action verb? 
an action verb is like going, doing, you know, ma making things happen. And sometimes it's just like, you know, I feel like, you know, when I'm in scene with the, with the ladies, like, it's like, oh, like, they're just not, like, present. So I just want to, like, I'm talking about being active. Okay, okay. And Dorinda, uh, I have to ask you this question, although I'm scared of what you're going to say. Would you say me, Michael Rapport, I'm more of an eagle or a pigeon? <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, I, I think you soar with the eagles like All right. myself. Thank God. I mean, I am a New Yorker, so a pigeon yes, wouldn't be, I've wouldn't met be an you insult. many times on the Upper East Side. Yes. And you're a fellow eagle. And, and let me just tell you guys something. As a fan, and I am a fan just like you guys, when you run into Dorinda Medley on the Upper East Side at 11 o'clock on a Tuesday, it is enthralling. It is enthralling. <laughs> Kristen, uh, uh, we, we saw you saying uh, you were trying with Kelly. Uh, which of these ladies was the hardest nut to crack in terms of forming a connection? Kelly. Okay, can you want to say why? Did you form it? Where are we at today? You guys are sitting at... I mean, you see, yeah, we're, we are sitting on opposite sides. But no, I think that, well, you're definitely going to have to watch and see. We were the only ones who really didn't know each other that well coming into it. And we have a lot more in common than I think we thought. Um, and I, we've been... Spent I don't think so. Oh! <laughs> We've been, it's funny we've, because she was the hardest person for me to crack. So it's like we're both like on the same. Yeah. Like, but we've had, we've had a good train. time this problem. So the nuts have been cracked. Yeah. We'll see yes. once the show airs, but know. right now we're good. Okay, good. <laughs> um, Sonia Morgan, the great Sonia Morgan. I'm listening. Uh, how does this trip uh, compare to uh, the Real Housewives of New York scary island trip, an iconic trip? Well, we go back to St. Bart's, which you all saw. That's pirate land. Scary Island was St. John's, and we leave what happened there on St. John's. Ooh. I had a particularly good time with Kelly. She gives good attention. We speak she gives good attention? <laughs> oh, yeah, she spent 15 minutes getting the sand out of my, uh, suit, my swimsuit. And there were two hot guys waiting, waiting for me. Waiting for her, and she like, did no, that. No. And she also first. tied up my sarong. The kitties first, yeah. guys after. Uh, Very speaking, good with speaking kitties. Of guys, uh, um, since you guys, uh, Kelly and Kristen, you guys are the only two women that are, are married or engaged uh, for now and wish you nothing but the best going forward. Which uh, one of these single ladies, and I, I call you guys, uh, Sonia Morgan, uh, Countess Luann, and Dorinda, I call you guys the real big three of New York. Which one of the big three of New York? These are queens of New York City. Which Thank one you. of the big three of New York had the most action from the gentleman, gets the most attention from the gentleman? I have to say, I think it was Lou. Yeah, I think it was Lou. I'm always yes. in trouble with a guy. That's for true. Yes, it was. You it's always you were trouble. in trouble. I know well, it, it wasn't trouble. This Luan was good trouble. Knows how <laughs> Lou is like catnip. In. Luann has a magic about her when you're true out that. with her. That She's yeah. catnip. Now, now I, I would be remiss if I, if I didn't ask you, were, were, were there any pirates down there? Any pirates? Oh, yeah. There were, the definitely, there were definitely some pirates this time around, just letting you guys know already. Um, and there's quite a few, actually, on St. Bart's. Now, yeah, a lot knows? of men, a lot of who men. Who knows, since our first pirate. Pirates <laughs> and other have, things, have you, have, you, have you heard from the, the OG pirate? He lives in Miami now, and he cut his hair short. I would not recognize him if I saw him walking down the street. He wears a suit now. Looks like an investment banker. He looks like an investment the pirate banker. Turned investment banker. He pirate turned investment banker. I didn't recognize him. I was like, that's so a pirate. I liked him What do you do with a pirate? pirate? You marry finance. Oh you f pirates. Oh my God. I was, I'm, I'm with a guy for six months. Don't look at me. I am dating a Viking. A Viking. Oh. A Viking. He has a beard, a mustache with a little gray. The third time I was with him, I said, did you always have a beard? <laughs> Doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> and I never swap spit. I don't want anyone's oh. tongue oh. in my mouth. It's too God, early. Yeah. Sonia, it's early in the morning. Oh, um, it's never too early. They're the best in the morning. I'll, I'll ask this for, for Sonia and uh, uh, Luann. Uh, you guys have done so much fantastic work on Bravo, The Real Houses of New York, uh, now this girls' trip. Uh, and of course, you did a fantastic, one of the best comedic uh, uh, shows of the year. Should be up for, a, for an Emmy, a Grammy, and an Oscar. Crappy Lake, Crappy Lake oh was God. excellent. Thank you. And, 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 and the people know how great it was. How was it different doing uh, this girls' trip from anything else you guys have done. And like I said, you've done a, a lot of work on, on Bravo. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it was totally different because, you know, it was just the two of us. Um, and we were there really 
uh, not for ourselves, we were really there for the town of Benton. So we literally lost our lives for six weeks. Um, and we had the best time helping the town out. Um, we fell in love with the, with the locals of Benton, who are amazing. The motel now has added a wing. Uh, an extra it felt good. One. It felt and, really good, and, and we made until next year. We made a, a lot of friends there, and they were a little bit hesitant at first because we get off a private plane and a lot of bling and heels, and like these bitches can't do shit for us. We were doing fine, all seven thousand of us, but actually, we really did pull off that very long list. We felt so good about that, and we're still friends with the town. Nice. But I will say one caveat. When I go on the girls' trip, I get to drink, fall down. We, I couldn't do that. She went to bed at 9.30. She wasn't drinking. I would go to bed at, like, uh, 4, and she was getting up at 4. Nice. Um, Dorinda, yes. last BravoCon, you surprised Andy Cohen during one of his Ask Andy panels to ask you uh, uh, when you had been taken uh, uh, when you would no, be taken what off I pause. said, I've, I've been on pause, but I'm ready to press play, but that Tamara used it. Yes, 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 and, and uh, did, when you got taken off pause, did he call you himself? How does it work when you got, because everybody was, first of all, how happy are we that uh, Dorinda has been taken off pause? The great Dorinda Medley. How, so how did that work when you got actually taken well, off pause? No, it actually was, I had done Ultimate Girls Trip 2 before that BravoCon. So Which, I kind of was semi off pause already. Seven of the greatest episodes of TV in any genre ever. <laughs> oh, thanks. F un f un believable well, that show. I can't wait to do it again up there. Um, but, you know, I, I never feel, I never really felt like I left fully. You know, I think it's because I, I'm in communication with all the girls so much. And I got pretty lucky because it was COVID and it was quiet anyway, but Andy called up and he just said, you know, are you ready to do Ultimate Girls Trip 2? It's ready to get you back on TV. And then it just kind of rolled into legacy. Do you? Do I always knew I'd be back at some level. I really did. We did too. Really of course. Did. And it was really the best thing that ever happened. It gave me an opportunity to write the book and launch the bourbon and get the maple syrup out, and you know, we were all at home anyway, and I just kind of hunkered down at Bluestone Manor. I, I'd be remiss- and ignored it would happen. I, I'd be remiss if I asked you, uh, 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 there was tours, there was a party for the public Oh my fans. God. I mean, who wouldn't want to go to Bluestone Manor? Let me Manor? tell you about that. I decided one day with Carrie Ann, who's here, my agent, I said, you know, let's just, every week, I'm not lying to you, I must be asked a hundred times, can I come to Bluestone Manor? So. I thought in the summer, let's do something outside. It's kind of not too invasive. So we put up, I think, like 150 tickets. They sold in three minutes. Wow. Wow. Three minutes. You think I should do that at the townhouse with Dorinda? <laughs> Gotta pay those bills. It is incredible. H how is the townhouse, Sonia? There's been a lot of speculation, rumors. At one point it was up, it was down, it was getting sold. Where are we at with the townhouse? I'm glad you asked that because when it's rented, I take it off the market because I don't show the house. Uh, when it's rented. So I had a wonderful family that just left a couple of days ago. Um, so now I feel broke again. And then when I rent it, I feel homeless. So Dorinda and I had a really good chit chat this morning. This morning at Hair seven. and makeup. She's like, just auction it and move on with your fabulous. Well, I just said everybody would love to see, I think that's a show, just seeing Sonia move out of the sun house into this new life. You know, you've raised your daughter, you've done a great time. Yes, yes. And I always say, listen, you may see me one day when enough is enough. Life is about transitioning. I, I was doing my therapy at seven in the morning this morning. <laughs> and, and Sue so, knows it too, I love it. Yeah, but see, no I, auction, I'll morning. sell it. No auctioning, oh, right. I will sell that You sold a $34 million house. Oh wow, 52. that would be, yo, 52. That's that's a collab, million, right? That's a collab yes, show. Sorry. You'll see that on the show. She's it's all going to try up to on the show. It. She's How's a broker, not an agent. In the meantime, Sonia's townhouse is available for rental. We're putting it out there. It's up for rental. We need a townhouse in New York, okay? And Sonia, Sonia the, the business of Sonia Morgan, I, again, I'd be remiss if I asked, how many interns do we have on the payroll currently? Oh, currently? None what of them payroll? are paid. Payroll. What payroll? No, they're not paid. Right, they my, get, sorry, my bad. They Let's get be school, clear. They get school credit. So I have three what living in the townhouse. Wait, do you write a recommendation school? letter? So, yeah. 
They all have great jobs. So I have one from UVA, University of Virginia. Yeah. And I have one from Cornell. Yes. And then I have a couple of fashion interns because, you know, they help me with styling. And, and they like to go on these trips and they like to you go know, out. You can't walk around New York City without, without getting an into interns. an elevator with a young person. And they say, I was one of Sonia's interns. <laughs> Remember me? That's funny. Everywhere you go in New York. I, if it's happened less than 50 times, I'd be surprised. That because is... she always gives them good therapy. <laughs> um, C Kristen, I, I have to ask you, you've been off Bravo for a little while. Uh, did you have any reservations about returning in front of the cameras that catch every single thing in your life? No, I, I didn't have any hesitation to come back. I felt great because I knew the girls, you know, so that was my whole thing. It was like, it was nice. It felt like it was coming home, you know? And it's, it's strangely like riding a bike. It's crazy. It's like no time. Really, like no time had passed. Trust me. <laughs> but you guys but Kristen see. really, I have to say, she's, a, she's really a different character on this this time. <laughs> yeah, she even came after me at one point, which I was really proud of you for, girl. You go for it. And Very Kelly, assertive. Kelly, uh, let me ask you a question. What do you think the biggest misconception that the fans had about you during your run on the Real Housewives of New York? Because a lot of people have a lot of different things we to say wonder. about you. I think what do you think it is? There are so many misconceptions, we don't have time today. Um, but I think the first one is, I'm up here, you're down there. I'm up here doesn't mean like I'm better than you. It just means like I'm an adult, and I am in the right. adult playground, and you're in the baby playground. So like you guys, when you're around your friends, you tell them, I am always up here. Don't be down here. It's like a higher vibration. 100%. The high road and the low road. Right. Thank and, you. Exactly. and how was it for you to come back? Like, did you enjoy it? Was it easy, like riding a bike, juggling? What was it like? Well, I'd also been on Million Dollar Listing a couple of times, um, so Whoop. I have been on television in the past. But it was actually, it was so nice to just be around Luann and Sonia, who I love, and Dorinda, who I've met so many times, and she's such a great woman. And Kristen, we have mutual friends, and you know, I work a lot, and I'm traveling all over the place. Right. Um, and so, just to be with these women on a trip and be naked and drink rosé. Oh, oh, wait, whoa, 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 were we naked? I mean, <laughs> at one point. Was I? I was <laughs> naked the whole time. Were you? Who dried humped you? She, me, yeah. that a rash. She I wasn't so naked. Good. And I literally had a rug burn on my leg from that for like three days. I do think seriously. I had to ask for bastard Tracen. <laughs> but, but nobody travels like the Real Housewives of New York. Woo! I think we have the best trips. We know how to have fun. We know how to be real. But we also do have a touch of class. Who's down to see the OG cast of New York go everywhere? Yes. Absolutely. Lu Luann, let me ask you something. When you started out doing The Real Housewives of New York, first of all, did you ever imagine that however many years later you'd be sitting in a ballroom in Las Vegas in front of, I think, 8,500 people. Like, could you ever in your wildest dreams that imagine they would turn into something so big? And, and the, the first part of the question is, what did you think you were getting yourself into way back when at the inception of New York? So, we had no idea when we first uh, filmed the show that it would become successful and turn into a Housewives franchise. I have no idea. And, you know, I never imagined I would be playing myself, get to play myself on television, or get to be on stages like this, like for BravoCon, um, and also have a cabaret career on these kind of stages now, you know? So it's an absolute dream come true. I could have never imagined this show becoming as big as it did become. Okay. Yeah, no, I mean, who could imagine, right? Who could have ever Thank imagined? Thank you, guys. And I think what's beautiful about these girls, they really are who they, what you see on TV is kind of who we really are off TV. You could, there's days that I'm with Lou or I'm with Sonia or Kelly, and I'm like, this could be on TV right now. I mean, you live in LA, so I'm not with you that much. I'm not leaving you out. <laughs> but, but, Kristen, like, what did you think you were getting yourself into, like, day one filming, uh, day one of filming for you? Like, what did you think this was, it was going to be? I don't know. I thought it was going to be a lot of reminiscing, you know. No, I'm talking about from way back. I'm talking about, New, like, New oh, York. I didn't really think much of it, and you could tell from my first season. I kind of just went in, and I just, you know, I was really just me. Okay. You know? I, I wasn't, I didn't have any hesitation. I got you, know? you. I was looking forward to getting to know everybody. Got you. Yeah. And Sonia, like, when, when, think back to that first day of filming. The cameras weren't even, like, super def, uh, high def like they are now. What did you think you were doing with your life at that point? That's a good point, because I don't like seeing myself on camera, so I was worried about that. You girls have no bad angles. 
But, um, you know, I, they, they came to me, you guys know the story. They came to me when it was Manhattan Moms with Jill. We're both Sagittarians. And I was like, and so they flew me out to LA to do my, my reel. And they asked me to do the show and I said, no, I was too scared. Then I saw Luann and Ramon, how well they were doing and their brands and their kids. And I called them and I said, do you still want me? Because I didn't get any divorce money. And I got back on and then I didn't expect that you guys would really like me. Aww, well, they love you. They love all you guys. But I knew Luann loved me. Well, listen, <laughs> Always, we, we, would not, we, would, we would be remiss again. I used that word uh, three times today, which is a, a record for me. Uh, uh, if we didn't play a game with the ladies, it's game time. We're going to play one, two, agree or disagree. You guys know the game. You know the rules. I am going to make some statements about past moments in Roni history. Then I'll count one, two, agree or disagree. Please take... Uh, one of the uh, the fun uh, uh, thingies there. Uh, uh, and if you agree, obviously you say you agree, and if not, you you say disagree. Uh, number one, Kelly made jelly beans an iconic candy. One, two, agree or disagree? Agree. Number two. Jelly Kelly. You guys don't like jelly beans? Who doesn't like sugar? <laughs> Hello, agree. The fish room was actually iconic and didn't deserve the hate it got. One, agree! two, agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. The whole world agrees. Number three. Take it back. Listen. Take it back. Now, take, take it, it back. back. <laughs> take it back. Okay. Take it back. Okay, you can now, come back. Now I have PTSD with the catfish. <laughs> no, but I get it. We always Got put her in the catfish. lower villa. We put her in the basement. We put her in the fish. Where room. is so the fish the today? Lower level. Now watch lower what happens level. live. Right. Who is it? One of the fish are at Watch Rap is Live. I forgot about it. I went to Watch Rap is Live with Luann last week, and I walked in, and I said, that looks like the fish in my room in the Berkshires. He's like, and he's like, it is the fish from your room. Uh, number three, Countess Luann was right. Alex was wearing Herman Munster shoes. One, two, or agree or disagree. Agree. Question for horrible. a Sonia Morgan internship guarantees a start to a great budding career and things beyond one, two, agree or disagree? Agree. Okay, everyone agrees. This, this one I'm gonna do a follow-up one on. Harry Dubin is actually a catch. One, two, agree or disagree? Disagree. Can we share some magic Poor on Harry. Harry Dubin? Like, what, what is the Harry Dubin magic that we're all uh, wondering? I don't know. Harry Wait, Dubious. We don't know on this side. I have no idea. Harry Dubious. Harry Dubious. <laughs> Everybody loves Harry. You know, I Harry Dubin saw me one day. This I don't think I ever told you this, Sonia. But I was getting, you know, I like to get up super early. And I was getting a, a juice on the Upper East Side. Yes. And he comes wandering in, and he looks like the cat that's been dragged in from the night before. So I'm like, hey, Harry, what's up? He's like, I tell you what's up. You're the only one I haven't slept with so far. I was far. just going to ask but that. But it's not too so late. Far. So far. I was just going to ask that. I said, go, go take a shower that? and sober up, sir, because you're obviously delusional right now. And but I didn't say that. But, but, can you, but, 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 but since you didn't fall uh, into the, the Harry D Dubin trap, can you, can you just, for like, as, as an impartial person, explain, is there a charm, or is it just like... Yes, he is charming. And uh, I'll tell you Michael, something. Michael, I think I can explain it best. I met him 30 years ago. Okay. Under a rock, like I find all my men. In D.C., he would come a weekend to New York State, the Four Seasons, first time I ever saw electric curtains. And then I would go to D.C. He was charming. He was humble. And just that southern charm he had. He was a real gentleman. He had he money to like, spend. He it was is great. like that. He's a charmer. He's very much like that. He is a very charming guy. And now he's come into some money, Sonia. So you might want to circle oh, yeah, back. Yeah, he told him. He's telling you. I ran into him it. at the Regency recently. He was the only one there. He was in for a funeral. I was there taking one Not of my the interns. Regency. Yeah, I took my <laughs> intern there. You know, I like them to see the iconic places. Even if it is $50 for two drinks, but whatever. Harry's there. I don't talk to him because he, he thinks he, he is the red carpet. And I can't stand that. I like the old Harry. Got you. But he's very old New York. Got you. So you yeah. know what? We all kind of saw him around for years. Everywhere you went. Everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, he's everywhere. everywhere you go. No, it's literally, crazy. you go to a party. You go I to, to see the him downtown store. As well. You go to the Regency. <sighs> you go to Bar and Books. There's Harry. 
Wait, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Harry Dubin. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> That would be so Why awesome. Not? Don't That'd forget, don't forget, I broke up with Harry because he cheated on me. <gasps> Harry Doobie. That's been the theme. All right. Cheater. Uh, a Lu the game, back to the game. Luann. Luann shouldn't have let a random guy stay over at the ladies' vacation house, and it was actually Lou who was being all uncool in that situation. One, two, agree or disagree? Disagree. I was part of the original agree. Okay. This is this is a controversial question. I, I'm just reading it. This is controversial. It wasn't me who left the guy in the house, by the way. It was yeah, Ramona. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, just for clarification. This is this is this is gonna. I want you guys. That's to gonna be about too. me. Sonia's townhouse oh God. is more iconic, more iconic than Dorinda's blue stone matter. Oh. One, two, or agree or disagree, or you could say either both iconic. One, two, agree or disagree? I say I can't answer that question. What? Yes. No, I'm gonna do that. Right down the middle. Right down the middle. Right Don't forget, her house was different. Um, built Very different. by Stanford White, who did the Morgan Library, the Yaw Club. That is an iconic home. Mine's just an 1890 house that I used to no, be Morgan's grand. They're both iconic, but what's a city? They're both iconic. <laughs> so you got the you bones. Are. Your house has the bones. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, this has been, this has been, you guys are too good, man. She's you always have the greatest time. Boners. <laughs> you know oh, I am, Dorinda. She, um, she's speechless. You guys, BravoCon is about the fans. Is it, a, it is about you guys. So let's take some questions from the audience and keep it above the belt or I'll toss you out of here. My name is Crystal. I'm from Atlanta. I love you guys. I'm doing a rewatch just as good as the first time. Also a Sag. Um, Sag. Okay. Yeah. Sag. Okay, so uh, have you guys kept in touch with Tinsley and is anybody invited to her wedding? Good question. Yes, I've been in touch, but are you invited? I'm not invited, I are you? I don't think I'm invited. Well, and I've no. known Tinsley for you know like 25 years and I didn't even know she was getting engaged until recently. She's getting married. I know, right? Tinsley, I know Tinsley, I think, I think she's, she's already like married. I haven't heard uh, of her. I think she's getting married no. on the 11th. I brought her on the show. <laughs> so I guess the answer is no. Okay. No. All right, love y'all. Next question over there to our right. Hi, I'm Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Hey, Ruth. Hi, 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 Ruth
Very, very Manhattan much. Manhattan dry cleaning is it's a racket. Yeah, that was I oh my God, no idea very. at the time. Do you think the, the free dry cleaning kept him around a little bit longer than you, you might have if he didn't uh, have that? Yes. All right. No, but also, Dorinda told me this story. Anyone who left their dresses there, you know, very expensive gowns and dresses, like after, uh, what is it, two years? Yeah. She would get them. He would call me over to this room. That is funny. And he'd say, take whatever you want, because after two years, they have to get rid of them. Did you, did you and get And people good would leave Valentino, Chanel. I mean, half of it didn't fit, but every once in a while, you find it was remarkable. It was fascinating. And you know what's so cool? I used to go at night, and there's something about a dry cleaner at night. It was like it was alive. Sexy. I wanted to do a children's book on it. Like all and the now her daughter, and Hannah, wears them around <laughs> campus where... Right. Hannah wears your clothes now on uh, well, campus. Well, no, we're not going to say that. She'll where? kill me. Harvard. Uh, She's going to kill you and me. Uh, next question over there to our right. Hi there. Trisha from Houston, Texas. Um, Hi. Um, Dorinda, we are so happy you are on play now. But ladies, this question is for all of you. It's been a long weekend. Tell us somebody, a Bravo celebrity, who would benefit from a pause, each of you. Oh. You don't or have to tell us why. Yeah, well, that's a unless good question. Unless you want to. That's a good question. You know what? I don't like that question. These, they're, Next they're question. Family. They all love each yeah. other. Oh. Am, I, am I on pause? I don't know. I think the one, I, I, I have to say, they're not, listen, they're, there's, there's loyalty in this. Okay, so I don't think that they would want somebody else saying that somebody should get paused. Personally, oh. let me say, Jesus Christ, they're turning on me, Dorinda. What happened? Bring it back, you're blushing. Bring it back. You're blushing. Uh, okay, Dorinda, Roll it do, back. do you want to answer that question? This is what I will say. We put on pause, you know, listen, once you're part of Bravo, you're part of Bravo forever at some level. Look at everybody comes and comes back. So being put on pause isn't such a bad thing, to tell right. you the truth. It's actually an incredible growing period and it allows you to do other things. So I think there's many different people that could be put on pause and would enjoy it. Okay, all right. I don't I, think it's a bad thing. Me personally, Good answer, I, you know, like I could say for this, all you ladies, uh, or especially uh, the, the, the you guys, Dorinda, Luann, and Sonia, there's been points where it's like you thought it was over, but for me as a fan, it's like when you guys are suffering, uh, uh, us as fans, it's like Rocky, we want to see you get back up. I don't believe in pausing and firing. I believe that, you know, we keep going on. I that's agree. I love you. Thank uh, you, Michael. Two questions. One over Thank here you. to the left. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> this is Annie, and I flew all the way from Australia, and I even oh quit my, my job because they wouldn't give me the holiday time. Oh my god! Oh my god, Annie! Wow. You rock! And I cannot tell you on behalf of everybody here how much joy that all of you ladies have brought to our lives. So thank you. We're so grateful. My question is for the original Lucy and Ethel, Sonia Rita and Luann. If you had to pick a third person to join you on the next round of Crappy Lake, who would you pick? We can't figure out who would sleep in those shoes. I picked Dorinda. Yeah. Do oh, Dorinda's good for having awesome. But can, can you do that motel with those sheets and blood on the rug? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know if she could have the catfish, but... But you would have done better. This one didn't one do anything. I had to eat I do anything. Testicles. I did the whole five. I did the cat you do it. I'm like an avid fisher. Here's the thing. You could do it, Trinda. You got your you pipes could. cleaned. Yeah. Pipes cleaned. If That's how I stay young, Ruth. If um, you're sleeping on crappy like you need Next to watch time, it. FedEx rings, let them in. Love Lu you guys. Lu Luann, before, before I take the last question from the audience, I, I, in, in case they didn't ask, look, what's the next move with your cabaret tour? Oh. When is it happening? Where oh are we God. at? It's happening now. I'm going to be in Houston uh, November 19th, or no, December, but I'll be in Atlanta, New Orleans, Chicago coming up. So, yeah, check out my Instagram. Are you loving it so much? I love cabaret. It's really... Um, you know, who knew when I started the show that I would, you know, spin I off knew, and I said career. it. Because I do, I I'll love to that. sing, and I love to tell jokes, um, and I love to host parties, so Cabaret is really the perfect place for me. I found Absolutely. my calling, so And I, I think it. last night she's going to take some moves from Dita Von Tess. Dita wow. Von Tess. Yeah, yeah, I was there last night. Yeah, nice. she's incredible, yeah. All right, our last question of the ultimate girls trip down memory lane, uh, fan question. Where are you from? What's your question? 
My name is Stephanie and I'm from Sacramento. Um, I am also a nurse, so shout out Luann. Thank Lu you. Um, Here's to all the nurses in the room. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was wondering, since you were a nurse, what were your guys' jobs and occupations before you started the show? Nice question. Oh. Let's start with this. Kelly, start with you real quick and we'll go down the line. I mean, everybody, no one knows like what I do for a living. That was a funny Thank thing. You. Everyone's like, does she actually work or does like money fall from the tree? Um, well, as you guys know, I'm working in real estate right now. I am a writer. I've written seven books. Um, I have my MBA. Um, I'm licensed in New York, the Hamptons, California, and Florida. Um, huh. All right. I've done a lot of well, stuff. You're an you artist. Doing what about your fashion yeah. Yeah. Before I have been the fashion brands, and I also started L Accessories and Gotham Magazine. And you were Sonia? Well, well, I have a fashion background. I went to FIT and spent a lot of time in philanthropy, and I still do. But I do have my collection, Sony by Sony Morgan. It's in Walmart, and I have my Sony Sangria. It's in Texas at HEB. And free it. shipping. And also, I have my comedy Cabralesque tour. <laughs> um, so where am I next? Toronto, <laughs> San Diego, Pennsylvania. We're not sure where. Where am I next? San Diego, Toronto, and... I have a hard okay, time well, keeping track of my schedule. You know what? People show up. Yours is a bigger schedule. But I, people show up and I go there. I roll Luann, a little different. She's detail-oriented. What detail were you oriented. doing before Real Housewives of New York, Luann? Um, before the show, I used to work in Italian television, actually, when I uh, went to Europe as a model. And then I got married to the Count. Yes. And lived in Switzerland. And then when I came back, that's when the Housewives kind of came along. So. Wow. Okay. Dorinda? Well, before that, I, was, I worked in fashion. I worked for Liz Claiborne, which uh, I was part of the Macy's Buyer Program, and then Liz Claiborne, which was very big in the 80s. Mm -hmm. Liz Claiborne. Oh, yeah, it Remember was huge. That? huge. And then I moved to London and was married to Hannah's dad. And then I moved back from, after living there for 10 years, I moved back to New York City and married Richard. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, Richard is no longer with us. And then about a year and a half later, I uh, joined the housewives. And I was in real estate as well, believe it or not. That's how I met I Richard. Know. Oh, wow. I was his estate agent. Wow. Yeah, That's I how got, you met I Richard. got in the townhouse he lived in. I did an article in the New Yorker saying, if I knew I was going to live in that townhouse, I would have made him get the bigger one. <laughs> I, I get it. <laughs> Kristen? Love that. So before the show, I modeled, um, still modeling, and then full-time housewife and soccer mom, still. If anybody lives in Southern California, you'll see me on the soccer fields. All, All right, well, <laughs> listen, you guys, this has been a thrill for me. I know it's, give it up one more time for the ladies. <laughs> give it up one more time for yourselves. I hope you guys are having as much fun at BravoCon as we, we are. Love the you. ladies are. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, guys.